Tarek Kalawani, Executive Director, Enterprise Solutions at Microsoft UAE. Thank you for joining us here at Account in Middle East. Thank you for having me. Would you be so kind to tell us a little bit about the participation of Microsoft in this year's Jitex Global and what are you showcasing in particular this year? Look, as you know, the world is going through a very significant moment in tech. It's an AI moment, I think, with the introduction of regenerative AI and the profound impact it's creating in almost every industry, every sector. So we kept the theme around Jitex today, uh, around the reality of AI. Uh, so we're trying to showcase basically uh, the different use cases, um, basically for, from the different industries across public sector, financial services, health, education. And we're demonstrating actually some of that technology and how our customers are starting to use it today. Uh, on our main stage, uh, as an example, we basically were demonstrating Mai, which is a new virtual assistant uh, for basically any citizen, uh, resident or a tourist of the city of Dubai. It's a digital companion that would help you basically complete any government service end to end in natural human language. So that's just basically one of the use cases we're demonstrating here on Jitex, but that's the overarching theme. And how about some of your partner showcases? Could you divulge a little bit into those, please? Yeah, I think uh, we're, we're, we're lucky to be joined by uh, around 32 partners on, on our booth this year. Uh, and I, I think very much consistent with our theme. So our partners from the different specialization uh, and the different, again, solution areas or industries are showcasing also uh, different use cases across sustainability, energy management. We have a few partners also demonstrating the impact of AI in healthcare and education. So it, I would say pretty much consistent theme that our partners are also following, but you'll find a lot of diverse uh, uh, use cases being demonstrated on, on our booth. Great, and, and what about the VIP demo? Uh, what is that? Uh, could you tell us a little bit more about that, please? It's the one that I mentioned earlier mm -hmm. around basically the government services. So it's basically a companion. It's a digital companion. Uh, imagine uh, today if you want to complete some of the government uh, services uh, in Dubai, which is fully digitized, by the way, for, for quite a few years, you still have to basically leverage certain uh, different apps for the different entities or websites. Today we introduced Mai, which is the digital companion that you can talk to in natural human language saying, hey, I would like to renew my passport. And uh, it, she, she would basically start guiding you through the process all the way to completing the transaction. And you don't have to type text or move cursors. You just talk in your natural human language. That's the power of it. And this applies across basically all government entities. Uh, it's available also in more than 75 languages. So the power of this, it's not just in only in English and Arabic. Imagine D D Dubai is a global city. We have, you know, nationalities from all over the world. You can basically talk to this digital assistant in your own language and we support 75 languages today. And my, is that likely to, or has it already expanded into the private sector? Do you have plans with regards to that? Yeah, so my is, is, is the concept for demonstration purposes, uh, but uh, the concept itself is currently being rolled out in Dubai government, in Abu Dhabi government, and we're starting some work also with the federal government uh, around the same. Well, wonderful. Thank you very much for your uh, insights and thank you for joining us here at Economy Middle East. You.